All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about integers. Integers can be classified as whole numbers having positive and negative values. So we have three types of integers. It's gonna be our positive numbers, which are positive one, two, three, four, and so on. And also negatives are negative numbers, which are negative one, negative two, three, and so on, but also zero. Zero is also an integer and it does not receive a negative symbol. So it's just classified as zero. So we have a couple of different rules when learning about integers. So I'll do some example problems to show what type of situations we might see. So, for example, we might see two negative signs. The way I like to remember this is if we see the same sign, we combine. So since there is a negative one and a negative one, we are gonna get, we're gonna combine two ones and get two, but since they both have a negative sign at the front, we gotta add that negative at the front. Another type of problem we might see is a negative sign and a positive sign, the same problem. So for example, negative five plus three. So we can rewrite this by putting the negative five behind three. So you can write it as three minus five. So what is the difference between five and three? It's gonna be two, but there's a negative in front of the five. So we can't forget about that one, right? So it's gonna be negative two. Another type of problem we may see is two subtraction problems in the same section of our equation. So three minus negative four equals. So we see these two negative signs. And to me, it kind of looks like you can combine it and make a positive. So we're gonna add three plus four, which gives us a total of seven, a positive seven, because there's no negative values anymore. So today, we are gonna do a couple more practice problems. We're gonna work together in our groups and use our order of operations. So don't forget PEMDAS. Never forget the parentheses is what we start with, right? And then we are gonna use our operations of addition and subtraction to do these pro practice problems together. So let's see. So we're gonna do our practice problems. So number one, positive three minus six. So we see a positive sign and a negative sign. So we have more in the negative sign value. So the difference between three and six is three and there's a negative at the front of the six. So we're gonna put negative three. Number two, negative two minus four. So we see that we have the same sign. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna combine. So two and four is six. They both have negatives at the front. You can't forget that, so negative six. Number three, zero minus seven. So zero doesn't have any value and we're subtracting seven or zero and negative seven. So our answer isn't gonna change, it's just gonna be negative seven. Number four, negative 25 minus 13. All right, let's see. Same sign, we're gonna combine. All right, five plus three, it's eight. And two plus one, that's three. And they both have a negative sign at the front. So we're gonna do negative 38. Number five, 
14 plus zero. We're adding zero, so we're gonna get positive 14. All right, number six, negative 10, minus seven, minus nine. All right, there's no need to freak out. Just because we had an extra number, we just gotta remember PEMDAS. So we're gonna go in the order of the operation. So they all have the same sign, so we're gonna combine. So negative 10 plus a negative seven is a negative 17. And we're gonna combine negative nine, get a total of negative 26. Number seven, negative nine, minus 10 plus six. So remember, parentheses first, so 10 plus six is 16. And then we're gonna have a negative in front, so we have the same sign. So we're gonna combine, so negative nine plus negative 16 is negative 25. Number eight negative 11 minus negative one. All right, so remember, up here, we turned it into a plus sign because there were two of the same sign. So right down here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Turn it into a big plus sign. So what is the difference between negative 11 and positive one? We have a difference of negative 10. Number nine negative 58 plus a negative 34. If we need to do our work on the side, we always can. So we're gonna combine because they have the same sign. So it's gonna be an addition problem of these negatives. Two, one, negative 92. And then last but not least, number 10, 20 minus 19 plus a negative 18. So 20 minus 19 is a positive one. All right, and then if we see these two signs right next to each other, the negative is gonna overpower the positive. So we're gonna, we can just rewrite it as a negative 18. So what is the difference between one and negative 18? Negative 17. All right, so tonight's assignment is gonna be the odd numbers, number one through 12, and you're only gonna do the odds. So you only have six problems to do.